Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime. And I figured I'd talk about since this is a little cold. My favorite Christmas party I ever went to. I would say probably the second, because that first one I went to Pat was a motherfucker. But this one was a close motherfucking running heads and heads. Let me take you into it. It was a Derek Coleman Christmas party at the State Theater. <clears throat> now that day I went down to the Broadway to pick up my stuff from the trunk show and to get it fitted to wear it to the party. So when I go down there, I bump into this brother named Nate. He works for Derek Coleman and he's somehow associated with the party. So he tell me, come on down to the State Theater, dear Coleman, we having a big party tonight, come on down, look like you, the type of person should be coming. I say, okay, I might stop down. So I get fitted, get showered at the Broadway, me, Southfield, the 250 get together, we say, yeah, we're gonna do the dear Coleman Christmas party at the State Theater. So we all go down there, I think, Al might have been with us too. All of us went down to the State Theater to the Darren Coleman Christmas party. Now it's a long line to get into the party. And we walk past the door and walk all the way back to the end of the line. And that brother I met down at the Broadway earlier, Nate, he walked out the, 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 the door and he said, hey you, come on, come on up to the front, come on in. So Nate called me up and called me on and I said, hey, I got my brothers back. He said, oh, y'all, come on, come on up and come on in. He pulled us right in in front of every, the whole fucking line was long. He pulled me, 250, all us right in, Nate did. We go in and goddamn, the party didn't start it. Now, it's star-studded. This was the year that Grant Hill was drafted to the Pistons. Grant Hill was there. Terry Mills was there. Grant Hill's wife was there, Maya, she was there. All of them was upstairs. Chris Webber was there. All the celebrities was upstairs on the second floor. And it was a private thing for them only. With Derek Coleman, you know he was one of them. So Derek Coleman had everybody there. Alan Houston was there. We down in the bathroom smoking a blunt. At this time, I smoked blunts. I had one roll with hash and everything. We down there in the bathroom getting fucked up, and Alan Houston walk in. This motherfucker glazes out. You can't shoot a jumper. Da 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 da. Oh, he went off on Alan Houston. Alan Houston just took a piss and looked at this stupid nigga. And I just, I'm pissing by one star over from where Alan Houston is pissing. I just pissing the smoking weed, laughing and shit, cause he's glazing Alan Houston. Nah. No, Damn, it's Alan Houston, a true pistol star. Alan Houston finished pistol, go back upstairs. You can't shoot no goddamn jumper, Alan Houston. You needs to practice it. And right after that, he left and went to New York Knicks, motherfucker. Patrick Ewing came and got him since he couldn't shoot a jumper. But anyway, that night, he was at the Derrick Coleman Christmas party. He came from upstairs, went to the bathroom. I told you, all the celebrities is up there. So, um... Uh, I'm floating around, looking at all the sights, wall to wall, back to back. Everywhere I look, I see something I like. So now, all the Tiger women are there. Tigers was my favorite titty bar. And all the whole Tigers crew was there. Aspen, Smokey, Cognac, all of them was there. Putin, the whole Tigers crew was at the Derrick Coleman Christmas party at the State Theater. Yeah, this motherfucker was off the hook. You had all the titty bar women's there. You had all the celebrities floating up and down when they get tired. Terry Mills will come down. Derek Coleman will come down. You know, Weber will slide through. You understand? Like I say, Grant was the man of the hour. Everybody wanted to see Grant here. When he came down, that's who everybody wanted to see. When Grant come, the party down there stop and get to look. That's Grant Hill. That's Grant Hill. That's Grant Hill. And he'll slide back up. He had his wife on his arm. I, they wasn't married at the time, Maya. They wasn't married now. But anyway, the night wears on now. Pep slide in. I see Pep. Now, Lisa Porter is married to Terry Mills now. And I ain't seen Lisa Porter 
and Terry Mills, because Terry Mills was coming down, and then Lisa Porter would come down and go up and down where all the stars was up on the second floor. So now Pep come in, I'm looking on that, what's going on, Pep, what's going on? He in the state theater at the Derek Coleman Christmas party. I run into him there. So now I'm already knowing Lisa Porter is his ex, and so I'm already peeped her because Jimmy got a thing for her. My boy Southfield, he had a thing. That's Lisa Porter, that's Lisa Porter. I said, that's who Pep used to be knocking on. And so, so happy Pep stepped in the house that night. Sure enough, he had on, i never forget it. He had on a gray Pelly Pelly with all the stairs on the back. He had on a Pelly Pelly jacket with the leather pants. He had on an all gray Pelly Pelly leather outfit with the studs. It was sweet now. That's what he had on when he came into the party. So I'm wearing an all pink suit with gray, uh, I mean pink uh, gators, Rolexes and all this shit on. I'm drinking motherfucking Moet splits, buying them all around the house. Now asking them, I'm fucking with them because they the Tigers crew. I'm buying them Moet splits and fucking with them all night because that was the crew who I used to go to Lake Titty Bar. Tigers was the place to be. It was the only black owned titty bar. Mimi was there, the waitress. Mimi was even there. She was like the waitress. She was there with a Chrysler worker, I think. You understand? She was the waitress at Tigers. And I'm going to tell y'all about Tigers another time. But anyway, I'm talking about the Derrick Coleman Christmas party and how off the hook it was and who all was there. Everybody who was anybody was at the Derrick Coleman Christmas party. Let me say this to you. At the end of the night, Everybody coming out the party. The party finna end. And these two motherfucking PAs now. Everybody fucked up, drunk. I'm talking about motherfuckers wall to wall. Everybody back to back. These two niggas now. We didn't been getting high. They didn't been. I didn't see them around the party all night. Now here's the party ending. Now these two niggas in there. They got to beef with each other. They going to say. God damn it. Now they meet up right at the front door on the way out. These niggas get the. Thumping. I'm talking about I got to move over to the side. The whole everybody got to move over. Because I mean these niggas is going at it. So security go to Russia. Now they fucking up the night with all this bullshit. Everybody shot and coming out the motherfucking party. Now these niggas been in that party. Now they want to fight. Now get the party over. So these niggas at the front door going at it and everybody trying to get out. So it causes a hell of a ruckus. Now so the big security come big, big dog and Push both of them motherfuckers, grab both of them motherfuckers and take them and throw them right out the goddamn front door. As soon as they hit out the front door, it's 20 police officers lined up in the middle of the street, in the middle of Woodward, directly in the middle of Woodward. When you walked out the state theater that night, it was police lined up everywhere. And they threw them niggas out fighting. When they turned around fighting and looked and ain't see nothing but police, man, them that was some funny shit, man. I don't know what happened to them niggas after that because everybody getting out the way and shit, but I remember the fight and getting out the way and let these niggas go head off. Boy, they threw them niggas out the door right into the coldies. So this is just one about their Coleman Christmas party at the State Theater. It was beautiful from the beginning to the end. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime, telling you, check out Jelani's Tasting Table. Get him to hook you up some of them weed wings when you're having a little private party for you and the girls or something and y'all want to try something new. Get him to bring you like 150 of them wings, them weed wings, and drop them off to you and keep rolling. Check out that weed cooking Jelani's doing over there on the Tasting Table. Jelani's Tasting Table cooking with marijuana. Baker's College finest. Check him out over there on Jelani's Taste and Table. And you know I got to tell you all, go over and check out Crime Town on Spotify Kingpin's Kids. And as I always say to you before I go, I am Eddie Baby at Instagram. I am Eddie Baby and Instagram. Like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share. Thumbs up. Like, 
subscribe and share. Thank you. You definitely humble me. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you. And we're going to be seeing a lot of each other. Ha, 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 ha.